Hi friends! So today's video is going to be my May favorites because um, it's the beginning of June and I had lots of favorites. I had lots of favorites in the month of May and it's just what you do beginning of the month or end of- this is- it's like June 4th as I'm filming this. Here we go. But first, vodka. Two shots of vodka. This glass is like my favorite thing ever. I will post a link to uh, the seller in the description below. It's Carter Designs. She has other ones. One that says, um, because teenagers are assholes. Another one that just says Jesus juice. She has all kinds of funny glasses and things that would be perfect for your mom's birthdays or for those of you like me who are quickly approaching 30. Yep because I'm fresh out of fucks, you know what I mean? I mean, when we have off-duty FBI agents breakdancing and guns going off, I'm fresh out of fucks. Fresh out. Anyway, uh, <laughs> favorites. This is what I was doing. I was like, what was I doing? Uh, favorites video. So I got a couple things that I used at Sasquatch that I loved a lot, uh, and I used outside of Sasquatch, just things in general. The Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream I have been wearing kind of on and off all through the month of May. I quite like it. This is in the color Opal 01, so I'm the lightest shade. So if you are paler than me, you could try this one, but I don't know how well it'll work for you. I like it a lot. It's, it's a really great kind of quick, easy, all over the face thing. It smells like sunscreen, so if you like that scent, you'll like this. Yeah, it makes my skin look really nice. I like it, I dig it. Especially on the days when I don't wanna like fucks with just like putting on a full face of foundation. It's just like, mm, slap this on, awesome. Speaking of days when I don't wanna put a full face of foundation on uh, and slapping stuff on, the uh, Anastasia Stick Foundation in Fawn. Um, I've been using this as like a contour slash bronzer. I used it in my festival makeup tutorial. Put a link to it up in a card here as well as just like general days. I've been putting this on my cheekbones and then kind of like bringing it across my face because it still is kind of like warm on my tone of skin. So it works like a bronzer but not looking orange. And I've been doing like this kind of like across the temples and then like drawing on freckles and stuff and it looks so cute. Are you sure about that? It's such a good color for us pale chicks that don't want to be orange. And it's got a decent amount of product in here. It's easy, it's creamy, it hasn't made me break out, so that's good. <laughs> and then the last thing that uh, is not necessarily specific to Sasquatch, but like more just specific to like my life in general, Dry shampoo. This is the Bumble and Bumble uh, Preta Powder. Preta Powder. It's equal parts dry shampoo, style extender, and volume in a pinch, and it's very tiny. And the powder itself is so fine that you need not a lot of product, but like the fact that like I still have like a decent amount in here, and I've had this for a long time. That says a lot. And it helps that the like little thing that it comes out of is like the tiniest hole. It's kind of like the same size of the hole. Like when you get those like lemon juice containers or the lime juice containers where you have to like poke a hole in it, it's like that small of a hole. Um, so you're not gonna get like a shit ton of powder on your head. So it's nice. And it's nice because now I want to wash my hair even less. I'm going like basically every six days without washing my hair. So this is really good to help extend that time. Also, I'm out of some of my spray. It has kind of like a baby powder kind of smell. It's pleasant and clean. Speaking of hair things to make my hair color last longer, I purchased some of the Color Saver shampoo and conditioner from AG Hair Care. This is the hair care that I believe Brooke uses on my hair every time I've gone in. The last time we did it when it was purple, she used the silver shampoo, the purple shampoo, Shampoo. It was the Sterling Silver range and it had like a coconutty kind of scent. This one has like a very lovely kind of citrusy kind of scent. It's really nice. It's like tropical, but it's also sulfate free. So I've been using this on my hair. I didn't want to invest in like large, large bottles at first because I knew I was going to have to take these to Sasquatch. So these are perfect travel sizes. If you want to buy these, if you're not sure about the product, try these ones first and then save the bottles and then buy the large ones and then just decant them in these tiny bottles when you go traveling because they're a perfect size and it's easily labeled 
and stuff. Um, the only gripe I have is that it's not like a squeezy bottle, so I just have to like whack it out on my hand to get any of the product out. So that's the only thing. I've washed my hair four times now, and I think this time this morning when I showered, it was the only time when I had like significant amount of color bleeding. I also didn't do the cold water thing because I like really needed a hot shower. So, but every other time I've used cold water and this, I've had like very minimal bleeding of the pink color. All right, lip stuffs. Here we go. The lip color I'm wearing at the moment um, is Max Cream Cup that I have made a significant dent in it. I probably talked about this product in my favorites like probably a dozen times over the years since I've purchased this because it was a very long time ago, I'm not gonna lie. But it's a really lovely nude pink. It's just good. <laughs> it's just nice. It's easy to slap on just. I always spank my dough. I don't know, I like it. And then I actually used it in conjunction with this product, uh, which I demonstrated in my last video, the Lush Lip Tint tint in Black Rose. I quite like this. You can do like a very kind of light wash stain and then you can also build it up to be like quite vibrant. And it, it like in the tube, it looks like terrifying and dark, but it's just more of like a vibrant magenta color. And I like these. I wish that Lush would have more of these year round um, <laughs> instead of the Emotional Brilliance, which was like the biggest fail of a product. I also have a plan of making like Lush products that were like on the shelves for way too long and should have been discontinued faster. Emotional Brilliance is number one on that list because God damn it, that product. Stop it. These two I really, really like. And then the Milk Makeup Holographic Lip Gloss in Mars. Uh, I used this in my last video as well. I quite like it. It smells amazing. It smells like creamsicle. Like Creamsicle and like Starburst. I like the packaging. I don't know, I, I like when it's not a like stiff tube for lip gloss. I find that I'm gonna get all of it out of here because it's like a soft tube that I can just kind of like scrape around. I like it, I, I, I like how it looks, I like how it feels. I like these, I like milk. Um, and sticking them like a similar vein of brands. The Glossier Birthday uh, Balm.com is amazing. I love this product. I've been using it all month long and I love it. It smells similar to that milk thing, but less citrus and more cake. This is one of the like kind of multi-purpose universal salves, um, but I wouldn't really put this where, like where else would I put this besides my mouth? I don't know. It's really nice. Again, I love tubes of things. <laughs> I've talked about my love for tubed products before. Who knows, I might make an entire video about like things, packaging, that's just wonderful and ergonomic and just easy and like this, I can just squeeze all the way down. It's like Carmex, but fancier, you know? And I don't even use Carmex, I use Blistex. <laughs> I've never been a Carmex girl, but like, damn, the tubes are awesome. A couple more face things. Um, I recently purchased the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade porcelain. It's the lightest before the white color and any of the like corrector shades, but I like it. I don't really like the brush applicator. I feel like that's a little bit, like it's kind of just getting a little bit unsanitary. I don't know. I like the product itself so far. It looks really nice on the skin. It looks really natural. It doesn't look drying and it also doesn't crease. I find that it does tend to look a little bit shinier throughout the day, but it doesn't like wear off, you know? I like it though. I've got a smudge on this. This is the sleek makeup blush in rose gold, which I also used in my last tutorial. Get ready with me, whatever. It's, uh, the, the, you've probably seen it. It's like a dupe for NARS orgasm. Whoa, it's a goldy pinky peach color. It's so exciting. <laughs> but I like it. I like it as an eyeshadow. I like it as a blush. It's just a nice all around blush itself. I think that sleek, makes pretty awesome products. I wish that they had eyeshadow palettes that wasn't like all shimmery because I would buy their eyeshadow palettes all the time because everyone I've gotten from friends in the UK have been great, but uh, the ones that they have in stock at Ulta are like 100% shimmer and it's like, how about no? And then the last makeup, beauty, body, skincare favorite has been the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I bought this stuff probably three months ago. I barely used it when I first bought it because I was so used to using the uh, La Roche-Posay micellar water. And I just got in such a habit of doing that. But 
Last month, I was like, I didn't want to go to Walgreens to buy new cotton pads. So I was just like, I'm just gonna use this. So what I did, I used this so much. Like I made that much of a dent. Like I've, you can't really see that much. It, that's a lot of product gone right there. It's a great makeup remover and a great cleanser. I put this on dry skin and then I get a washcloth, very warm and very wet. And then I wipe off my face and it feels so moisturizing and cleansing and soothing. It's just a nice alternative to Lush's Ultra Balm, which I still love. It's still like ride or die for me, but this is faster. <laughs> like straight up, this is faster because it melts easier. It comes off easier, but it still makes your face feel really soft and it doesn't make my face break out. It doesn't make me feel overly oily. I can use this in the morning and I still feel nice and clean. And I don't know, I, I like it. And I feel like my face has been a little bit less angry at me for the last month. It's gonna take me so freaking long to get through this thing. It's gonna take me a while, you know? Mm, cool, vodka, yay. <laughs> Music favorites, I've been listening to a ton of Typhoon this month, a ton of Noah Gunderson, a ton of Phoebe Bridgers, who I talked about in my last video, Japanese Breakfast. I'm trying to think of people who I was listening to before Sasquatch, but there aren't that many. Oh, editors. Oh my God. I got to see editors last month and they were amazing. And I was listening to their shit a ton at the beginning of the month. Their new stuff is awesome. And they're still like killing it and making music and like still doing the same thing that they've always been doing, just being great. So I was listening to a ton of editors, listening to a lot of Lil Dicky, uh, uh, which is a thing. That's kind of it besides Sasquatch stuff. I'll probably go into even more detail about Sasquatch when I actually put my Sasquatch video out. Things that I've been watching and enjoying. Boy and I went to go see Deadpool and we quite enjoyed it. It was a good time. I wouldn't say it's as good as the first one, but it's close. Like it's, it's still really good. Like the new characters and the antagonists were great. Just put Josh Brolin in like every movie, please. Cause like, damn that man, he is an attractive older man. Oh God. Like I love Josh Brolin and I loved the references, like probably my favorite reference. <laughs> this is in the trailer. So it's not a spoiler where he's like easy one eyed Willie. And I'm just like, Ryan Reynolds just made a Goonies reference in a Deadpool movie and I just I've been watching Westworld um holy shit I finished the first season what uh that's been a favorite definitely Westworld Ali Wong's new comedy special uh Hard Knock Wife is fantastic uh John Mulaney's comedy special Kid Gorgeous so good I've been just like binging all of the comedy specials on Netflix. Uh, I'll Be Gone in the Dark. I read that book. I listened to it on Audible last month and uh, I'm obsessed with it now and I'm obsessed with true crime novels. Um, not even a novel, true crime, just books. Please recommend me other true crime books. Um, I'm wanting, me and my friend Gabby wanna do like a book club reading about serial killers. And I'm pretty sure the next one we're gonna do is um, Green River Running Red by Ann Rule because the Green River Killer is unfortunately very close to home. They found some of the first bodies down the street from where my mother grew up. So that's fun. Fucking Washington State and our goddamn serial killers. Jesus Christ. One of her friends in high school almost got picked up by Ted Bundy. That's how like small South King County is. So I don't know of anything else that I could talk about at length. Um, for song of the day, Magazine by Editors is your song of the day. It's such a good song. It's such a catchy video. A good video, catchy song. That's how things work. A video can't be catchy, except a little dicky video because goddamn, that dude can like make a video just mwah. But yeah, Magazine by Editors is your song of the day. I have some videos planned. I got, I got some plans. I got some plans. Thanks for sticking with me. You guys are the best. Holy shit. These new people that have come in have just replenished my soul. Oh geez. Thanks for uh, making this channel worthwhile again because it's like, oh, 65 cents a day. That's fun. Uh, if you want to tune in to some live streams and such and vlogs and uh, get access to really nice high quality photos, uh, check out my Patreon. I'll put a link to it in the thing and then in the end screen, you can do that. Subscribe if you haven't already. That would be awesome. And then hit the little bell to get notified because apparently YouTube just arbitrarily makes choices. Um, sometimes they're in our favor and sometimes they're not like putting like super homophobic ads on like very LGBTQ positive videos. Like <laughs> don't leave please. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!